Who is Raymond Quiros? The Brazilian phenomenon that appeared suddenly, coming from a state with little relevance in the country's economic scenario, known as a place for simple people with a lifestyle focused on fishing, hunting and with low technological development, where the opportunity to work is scarce and the axes. To get an idea, Brazilians often joke when they say that there are dinosaurs in the state of Acre because of the large extent of Amazon forest and its local culture, quite distant from large cities, also having many indigenous tribes. But there are also some cities in Acre more developed and technologic. But this is restricted only to the capital and nearby cities. In fact, the state of Acre is a universe apart from is. Remember that Brazil has 27 states and a continental proportion, where very very much its cultures and ethnicities. According to the region of the country, is as if there were several can. And that is one of the reasons this boy is so loved by Brazilians. The fact that he emerged from a place with few opportunities, and from where it would be very unlikely. The possibility of being born a great idol of national sport. Legend is born. Raymond's first appearance in the media was, surprisingly, an unknown boy who would go on to win the Amateur Mr. Olympia of the year 2018 in the city of Sao Paulo, the pole of Brazilian bodybuilding, until then Brazil, if he had heard of this boy one could notice from the images his inexperience. Being among the finalists was something that perhaps not even he expected. Guy was very fuck. No one, no one. To help me man, it was really cool for the question. Unemployed detail, I live on rent with my wife. From time to time I get temporary services to pay the guy at the market where I get the eggs to pay later but I swear to god it's every single day I get eggs eating rice and egg. Rice and egg my cycle was testosterone propionate one milliliter and a half three times a week and trenbolone one milliliter and three times a week. There was a time I used to milliliters and even to get steroids it was very difficult I had to borrow money from one another some people helped me by giving money I exchanged some supplement products that a store gave me it was a little help but the money was not enough. There were trips there was the finalization and the food part, the registration of the events in paint for painting, the hotel stay and even the swimming trunks. It was difficult but God was wonderful with me he really has a purpose for me because I know what I went through to get to here. I know it's not easy for anyone I said this to my nutritionist at the time brother I can't buy meat I can't buy chicken the only thing I can buy are eggs what do you think? He told me okay let's try we'll use eggs and so it was in rice and egg. There were days that it was difficult to get enough to make the five meals right sometimes I myself am impressed I do not think I so deserving and God always comes opening doors of little by little happen the bro. You came from a lot of difficulty and had a dream that was to win the pro card and be among the best and now you're here. How is this feeling? Friend, the feeling is inexplicable, I would say unbelievable, but God honors the one who follows him, he's here, I asked a lot for God. I suffered a lot, and my coach knows how, much because he suffered along with me too, and here's the result of a lot of work and effort is this here. Giovanni. Giovanni, and you as a trainer has a very important role, say, was a very difficult preparation. Guy, you imagine the boy came from Acre has people who avoid saying they are from. There he spent a lot of difficulty. We know that bodybuilding is like a formula. One race he often sent messages to me telling me he had nothing to eat, but the boy never gave up, always overcame his difficulties even with that. We see the national bodybuilder growing up both excellent boys as Ramon a fantastic physique who will surely shine on the American stage on the professional stage giving all difficulties facing problems. But actually, I think this is a very strong feature of the Brazilian overcoming the fight all this will help you a lot in the professional and now I hope to really talk a lot about you in the pro yet. Brother Acre exists and I'm here to show that it's real, I fought a lot and I'll tell you all it's possible to conquer your dreams, just battle. It's amazing everything that happens I get really impressed, maybe I don't always deserve it and yet God has opened me doors. An unexpected invitation. In recent months, many important names of the national scenario searched for Raymond. They want to record with the kid, take pictures, train together, close sponsorship partnerships. But it is necessary to emphasize the importance of a specific name that definitely changed the story of Raymond. 
Tiago de Guro, the man of the millionaire mind. We can say that he is a kind of dream manager. Basically, he made a mansion in the middle of a humble neighborhood, on the outskirts of Sao Paulo and immersed Gill in a scenario completely unlikely he did something I would use to claim that there is nowhere in the world. A house, but a giant three-story house with food, support, accommodations and belief. Inside that house, he built a gym on the second floor and gradually his name gained national repercussion among amateur athletes of the sport, generating content for YouTube daily showing the routines of young aspirants. Raymond arrived at Moromba House in the year 2019, remained for almost a year, until Thiago de Guro decided to introduce him to businessman and bodybuilding lover Renato Cariani, considered the main exponent of Brazilian bodybuilding. A new level. And then what do you think? Look at his triceps, you're not in preparation is? No. Is not in preparation. Does this Arnold's pose? How can a kid like that not have a sponsorship that income for him a 100% preparation in the sport is genetic potential is a surreal thing he has a genetic possibility of hitting head on with athletes all over the world and the classic physique is no exaggeration. If the United States has good representatives, it's because they believe in the potential of their athletes. And we don't believe because if we believe our genetics is much better. Boy, I'll help you. I have a project for you. Stay quiet.